My view is that businesses' commitment to this has increased vastly just in the last few yeah. years. And uh, business holds a lot of the solutions to this, but business is also dependent upon a competitive framework that works, and that framework needs to be global. So what business really needs and wants is a global price on carbon. The, the move to a low, low carbon society can, be, uh, can cause a lot of frustration to business, and especially if you feel that someone is leading the way and others are not following and you lose your competitiveness, that can cause frustration. But I think we need to turn it around and look at it this way. If you spearhead this development with environmental innovation and sustainability, you are actually building competitive advantage because the new solutions will be demanded more and more, and the sooner you can be ahead of that, the better off you'll be when that demand really uh, pumps up. A price on carbon is important because business logic is basically market-based and if it doesn't cost, if carbon doesn't cost, it's going to be difficult to, to, to take the, the cost of developing low carbon solutions. So if you, can, if you have a price on carbon, the market di dynamics will, will, that strong force in the market dynamics will work the way towards a faster low carbon society. Is that simple basically. And if you have a price on carbon and if you can manage that at a global level, you also have this level uh, field of competition which is also needed for business to succeed. Well, I think climate financing needs to do two things. You need to speed up market introductions of new solutions. A great example here is uh, the electric car market in Norway. We now have the highest density in the world, and it's because the government has spent money uh, subsidizing uh, the fees basically on electric cars and the uptake has been phenomenal. And uh, another, uh, I guess, example is, uh, or an important area is to stimulate technology development. Uh, and for example, public procurement is an, is an important factor here. Uh, we have developed an electric ferry. It wouldn't have been done if the government hadn't demanded that the ferry should be electric. Once you've taken that cost, you actually actually have a product that you can create a market around and that you can export. So the point is you need that sort of, let's say, birth aid. And then you need to make sure that you, by, by investing that, create solutions that are sustainable in themselves and will then generate income. In this way, we can make the climate and the economy work together. If you make these forces work against each other, I think the climate will lose. If you make them work together, they will both benefit from each other. COP21 is already a success in that so many more countries are involved. Uh, and we will not have a global price on carbon coming out of the COP21. But if we at least can have the prediction that we will have a global price of carbon, that in itself will be a success. And then after Paris, we need to work towards implementation of the solutions. That's what it's going to be all about, implementation. Collaboration is obviously key and we have, for example, seen very successful voluntary agreements where uh, the government will tax a certain sector and the proceeds from these environmental taxes is then put back into the sector to invest in low carbon solutions. Uh, the NOx fund in the maritime sector in Norway, for example, is an excellent example of it and it works really well. Business need to realize that uh, climate action and economic development can go hand in hand and finding and investing in environmental solutions is actually building competitive advantage to the way the world is moving forward.